Mandao do. And that's a little do for you from the heartlet of Zen where I live and I've been living since I awoke in 12 12 21. I'm on Dao Du. I sit at the center of the mind zodiac, ushering in the fifth age built on Bitcoin, blockchain, and AI, staring at the Natsukaze. The Natsukaze is the event you can think of bit cloud is the natsukaze the event that ultimately sparks this change i have worked with the founders of bitcoin magazine who went on to launch ethereum back in 2011. some say my work played a role and maybe even the blockchain itself you see back then i realized that there was a massive problem this massive problem being that we have an economic system built on a 14th century business model that is endemically flawed inherently flawed it's called capitalism 1.0 and the only way to fix this problem was to create a new sandbox that sandbox my friends is the blockchain and once we had the blockchain and once it scaled up and got to a certain point and once bitcoin got to a certain point we could usher in the fifth age and that fifth age being 21 12 12 the forking of BitClout and creating something known as an open fork, which means anyone, we're creating a fork that anyone can fork. All the libraries, everything you need, we're going to make it simple for folks to fork our fork. Because really what, what BitCloud is, is Bitcoin as a platform. It's a, it's a BAP, right? And we want to make BAPs available for all. But it's missing a few things. It's missing a smart DAO. All the Bitcoin flows into a smart DAO. A smart DAO is AI managed. It's not just smart contracts. It's AI. It's deep learning. It's there to manage and pay out UBIs for every Bitcoin or in every every um, fiat. Because everything that comes into the platform gets converted to Bitcoin. And the Bitcoin stays on that platform. Bitcoin is everything. Bitcoin is capitalism at this point. And imagine getting paid out for the rest of your life and you can pass it down to inheritance, a UBI, a universal basic income that comes out of you participating on these BAPs. So the other thing is it needs, we need to replace CAGR. The underlining thing that drives capitalism is, is compounded annual growth rate, which, which, which drives ROI, which drives token prices. It's this, it's this consumption, consumption, consumption. Um, it is what's driving your, your prices on, um, um, on BitClout, right? Your tokens on there and replace with some of those CABR, compounded annual benefit rate. And CABR is determined by the AI, which I call O202, or sometimes I call it the noodle, um, or obey open beneficial AI and by doing a val a validation, verification and valuation engine. And it's basically this liking system, and then it's 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 not really that. It's just basically measuring intangibles, and the intangibles are measured by how you interact with them. It's really not that complicated. And finally, the outcome, right, is we have literally thousands of BAPs out there, all providing people a UBI that is ultimately converting fiat into Bitcoin and storing it in there um, until some point fiat basically becomes useless. And it's empowering people to be good and do good because that is the paradigm in the, in the, in the fifth age, right? Uh, I want you imagine farming autonomously driven. What does the farmers get? Right, in the current model, they don't get shit. How about the truck drivers who end up teaching the AI to drive trucks? What do they get? Nothing. In our system, everyone gets a UBI. Everyone benefits from automation and AI development of menial jobs. So what does it look like? Let me give you some visuals. This is actually visuals from 2011. It's visuals that I share with the uh, founders of Ethereum, uh, Mihao Lisi. And what I noticed immediately is when they launched this, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the problem. I just know too much. I'm trying to build too much. I'm trying to launch too much. They just took the first little three little squares, right? And, and this is, I call the Genkan, the entryway into the BAP, right? And uh, it's software as a code. There's no company. And guess what? They've had 4,000 Bitcoin flow through their system in less than a month. 
four thousand Bitcoin. And yesterday did tw they did twenty Bitcoin in one day. That is just mind blowing, right? So what are we missing? We're missing the smart DAO. We're missing the the E three engine, right? So what is uh you know what is that? Um, well, why is it not show anyway? All right, I don't know why it's not loading on there, but this is this is it. So this is this is right here is BitClout. Now they don't have they don't really have, they have follows, but you don't get any reward from follows. They don't have a they don't have votes. They have stake. They don't have endorsement advisors, teams promote. All these different things are part of this valuation, and uh, um, ultimately. Um, Right now they have this and they have a fund and they've done 4,000. So there's no connection. In in the BAP system, all of it flows into a smart DAO. All of it has this valuation engine, which replaces CAGR. Um, and uh, ultimately this pays out in FUCs um, based on the return. So just like Nexo or BlockFi, it's no different. But imagine every time you donate to a corporate, to a, to a nonprofit that's running a BAP, every time you are, you know, you buy something at a grocery store running a BAP, every time you are participating in a BAP, you're getting, you're building a UBI. Think about that. You fly an airplane and it's a BAP. Get on airline, it has, it's a BAP. You're getting that. BAPs are going to be everywhere. BAPs are decentralized autonomous nonprofit organizations. Just BAP, Bitcoin as a platform. It's just a fancy name I came up with. So here's the gamification. All right, this gamification is kind of fun. Um, again, uh, on our platform that we fork, right? And this, kid, we're going to have many different gamifications. You'll be able to pick the one you want. You could go with, with their dumb one or you could go with our cool one. But you come in and here is FX is these noodles right here. And you come in as a freemium or premium, you're capped. How much, how much uh, ups? you can get out of the pool is capped. Um, and if you're coming as a freemium, it's uncapped, which means you can actually, and, and the other thing, cool thing is as a premium, you get to see, you know, uh, gifts and prizes before everyone else, right? Uh, because it goes down the hierarchy of, um, you know, or you can go in and spend your, your FUCs on your, on your, on your uh, Visa card, right? And buy stuff at a store and everything else doesn't matter. Everything gets uh, converted on there or, or prizes. So this is our, our fun thing. And really what you're betting on is what level, how far do you think these ideas, would the idea level up? Will it become, will it launch as its own um, BAP, its own decentralized autonomous organization? Um, the, t the simple tokenization framework, and you make a token, you make your own token, um, it's like Bitcoin. You set the drip. Drip won't Bitcoin drips out at 50. That's all you set. And all all of the uh, uh, the tokens that we have will last 10 years. After 10 years, they stop. They burn all the rest. Um, and um, and the game is what you know. What level do you think will this become a division six, division five? You're gonna get on bet, bet on which level these tokens are gonna go. Um, and um, the cost of creating this token is you know is is fuel that you'll have to pay in. And guess what? You get you get FUCs back. Um, and everything that you do, again, pays out with a UBI. Here's another way to look at it. The, the fair token distribution framework. All right, again, you have to, th uh, the, uh, the engine is working on this here. You have a token pool, it drips down. Depending on your co uh, co collaboration, right? Are you consumer? And also, are you freemium or premium? Because you get caps on this here, right? So obviously, you get caps on the funds, um, and this is distribution. This is what's known as the golden rule distribution, and uh, you know on it. So why now? Well, BitCloud, look at it. <laughs> they launched to uh, March 18th, right? I found that I found them out like in March, you know, like around March 20th. So I missed them for a few days, and I've been on 24/7 streaming uh, what I'm doing and stuff on there. BitCloud cloud is a Gencon, means entry to the blockchain world, to BAPs, right? Um, it will be the first subscriber unicorn, which means over a million members are going to be on it. Um, over 4,000 Bitcoin, and you can click on here and go and see the wallet. Has been allocated to shareholders uh, for their native token, right? Here's the wallet right here. You can scan. Um, and um, the market size is there. I mean, we've been, you know, these BAPs are going to basically take out um, all of the old web. This is getting all replaced. So uh, Bitcoin as a platform is the new thing. And 
and the big question is people is it com competition this is a blue ocean strategy you know competition is a capitalism 1.0 paradigm these BAPs are all what's known as dis uh, distributive autonomous organizations they're this D and the smart DAO is not decentralized it's distributed which means each smart DAO is connected to another smart DAO and I can put that image up here right it's powerful. The logo of BitCloud is of a smart, is, a, a, is of a, a, a DAO, a, not a decentralized, but a distributed DAO. They used my logo for it. That was also a sign. I was like, ah, they know. And they form what I call a distributed beneficial kiretsu. A kiretsu of all these groups working together. There is no competition. Everyone's paid out in the UBI. Everyone's working together to make this world a better place. So what do we need to build? Well, we're forking as soon as they go open source. So I, I can't imagine they can survive without going open source by the end of the year. They'll have to go open source or they're going to get so much flack, right? So they're going to be forced to go open source as soon as they go open source. We're already pulling the libraries, everything else. We're just delve, diving into the code, ripping it apart, figuring what they have, right? Um, and we'll be able to put it up as soon as we can. Uh, build the, the, the 3B engine, really not that complicated. Already, we're actually looking to launch it on um, BitCloud, um, and um, it was called FX, Found Its Extension, and um, FUCs for code, FUCs for code. I took this from them, actually. They inspired this, by the way, because the way they did their Twitter, it's the same thing. So their Twitter verification process you could use for open source, and we can pay out every, you know, every contribution will be paid out in, um, in FUCs. So... Um, Thanks for that. And then the smart DAO. Um, and in talking to folks, what, what we're going to do is the DAO isn't going to run. It, well, it's not going to be AI running on the blockchain. No, it's going to be AI running on your device, your wallet. Your, the code that you run will be, you know, will be, um, be a smart DAO, will be AI. And it will use the processing power. And, and, and how much processing power you allocate it in time is going to issue out FUCs, right? And thank you, right? So you'll be able to set that. And it's going to, uh, you know, over time, it's going to, all your data, it's going to, it's where obey, open beneficial AI is going to obey you. Encrypting your data and doing things like a handshake where like other platforms are going to have to run the obey protocol. Um, so it's a handshake to stop them taking your data. So all of, you know, so all your data is going to be preserved by obey on you. You decide how it's going to work and all that. So that's the, that's really the smart DAO and obey. Um, everything you do, whether you're minting a token, swapping a token, using a token, everything basically is generating um, income for the, you know, for the, for the DAO. And there are no employees. There are no folks running it. It's all autonomous. It's paying you uh, us out in, in, in FUCs, right? As a thing, it's, it's um, FUC UBI reward to all Bitcoin use or even fiat because it takes the fiat and converts it. Fiat is useless. Fiat is trash. So Bitcoin is the only thing that it cares about. So it's going to just keep, you know, grabbing all the Bitcoin. So who's the team? I hope you're the team. I hope you become part. You can join foundups.org. That's our community. Um, and, um, you know, one of the things that we'll end up doing is having an IOHK type uh, arm for the implementation of forks for and So there will be. Um, as soon as at the end of Ju April, as soon as um, Wyoming has their DAO legislation, we're setting up as a DAO. So we're setting up as a smart DAO and we're also setting up as the BitCloud DAO uh, because I'm going to go after the Bitcoin that they've taken and uh, try to get that back for us. Um, I believe 80% of that Bitcoin is the communities and should come back to BitCloud and be sitting into a DAO. And maybe we can get them to run a smart DAO, um, this system here. All right, collaterals and links, you want to catch up. This Prezi is here. I'm going to link this in the video. You can uh, see all this and you can have access to it in Twitch on here. I, I'm always live feeding on Twitch. Everything, if I'm live, if I'm working on this, I'm live. I'm creating a living record, completely transparent of what I'm doing, who I am here from Japan. I'm on Dao Do, and I'm going to chant to you some of the do, and I hope that it fills you with, with happiness and pleasure. Remember, undo, folks, with a laugh and a smile. Be a Dao. Be like an oak tree to those around you because they need support, especially in this time. And also, for those in need or, or around, be of service 
and share what you have if you can because there's been a lot of pain and that is undoubted. 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 Undoubted.